When did we become aware of the threats posed by climate change? When did the dangers of hydraulic fracking become so apparent? When did we grasp that the food we feed our children might not be healthy? When they became subjects of groundbreaking films, films that first premiered at a pioneering film festival whose founder had a clear vision. The environment is something we all share. It belongs to all of us. The importance of it to our health and uh, our future and the world we live in is just unparalleled. In 1992, Flo Stone broke new ground when she founded the Environmental Film Festival in our nation's capital. It was a concept that at first many didn't grasp. When it started, so many people said, why, why are you doing this? I mean, film, environment and film. And I said, what could be better? From a modest start of 1,500 attendees in its first year to more than 33,000 attendees today, the Environmental Film Festival has premiered more than 1,000 films. Each one has opened our eyes to the world around us. People have said, why don't you just put it in one multiplex and have the festival? But that isn't really what we're trying to do. We're trying to take people to all sorts of places in Washington, have all sorts of experiences that are very, very diverse. We really want to have something in the festival that will appeal to every single member of the community. And it's working. Attendees connect in a deep, personal way with the subjects. They were showing you and showing all of us how they leave. For me, it was like I was there. I was there with them learning about their lives. Film is a powerful medium with which to engage audiences. Our pre-festival screening at the Warner Theater where you have just hundreds of public and charter school students. That's always really exciting. Just to see the reaction of the kids. Beyond screening films, the festival also connects filmmakers with thought leaders who can disseminate their messages. It's amazing how well you can remember a film. It just stays with you and that that really will motivate them to keep learning about the subject, to keep on working with the inspiration that that film gave them. For recognizing the profound power of film, for educating millions about our natural world, and for initiating a global dialogue about the environmental challenges that face our planet, we salute Flo Stone.